Previously on Alan Wake. Previously on L.A. Law. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? The rumor I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that... Uh, it's been a horror story, Alan. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. All right, episode four, The Truth. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. Why? Another rough patch, now Alan. It's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's yep. death triggered a mental illness. No, you're, you're lying. You're suffering from various Bastard. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, Alan. Just, Just let, let go. Go, 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 go. Is that the clinic, son? I'm at the clinic. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't it's a typewriter. Focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. All right. Well, looks like he's got a nice place that he was staying at, though. Very calm and peaceful looking. Uh oh. Good evening, Hello. Alan. Hello, Are we Doc. Feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message loud and clear. Why, right? That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint oh, man. with my clinic and go over everything you it's might like have It's like my forgotten. job. A little walk <laughs> and some fresh air? Yes, it will oh. do you good. All right, let's go. This um. is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Greetings. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in... The ones that are in a high state of vacuity with their symptoms. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Where did he go? Fuck. Where did he go? Follow Dr. Harvin, he disappeared. All right, there he is. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. Yes. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go well, this way, Alan. Doc sure does have the story down. So I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Boy, it's what a nice retreat. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. 
I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? <laughs> okay. Fuck, why do they put this stuff here? Why do they tease me? I'm gonna jump, Doc! Alright. Come on, Doc, let's go. At least he waited for me. Very nice of Dr. Hartman. He allowed me to go up the stairs and take a look. Look at this sundial. It's kind of like a pen, too. The writer's block. The writer's block is driving me insane. Seeing big pens. All right. Ah, uh, lovely lake. Very inspiring, isn't it? That would be Golden nice. Spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Uh -oh, stormy it weather. Seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Okay, Doctor. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief. Yes, we're going to have to do some Doesn't art therapy. Why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Look at him trotting up those stairs like a brony pony. But I can't I dug my nails into the palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Look at that crack there. Come along. Let's go Some darkness. So what is he like, the only patient here? Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed here's by somebody. when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. There we go. Scary, scary, scary. What's up, brother? <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> You're scaring me, man. I gotta get away from you. Ah! You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress, which I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Elbow strikes. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, of course. <laughs> It does involve I'll some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. Okay. Yeah. Video games have proven to be very helpful sometimes. Come, Alan, this way. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Read. What was I supposed to read? Oh, look out, Bucky. Yeah, I want to see his book. Fuck, come on, man. Why won't I... Ugh. Okay, welcome to uh, Calderon Lake Lodge. We're here to give you specialized help you need. However, people observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged in their creative process. Be patient. 
Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy, trademark, and its sister method, the flow, trademarked, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice someone. Or maybe, like if his agent helped convince him to go here or something, you know? My rheumatism is killing me. Uh-oh. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. <laughs> and these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They Odin and Tor. Put this a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. Yes. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. All right. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. It's for the best, brother. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> See you later, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement. It's like Thor there, huh? Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla. Herp, herp. Guy looks like Tommy Chong. Doesn't he? Need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Gave him a rash. What is it? Well, finally, our first page of like 300. Oh man! All right, let's get let's dig in. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. All right. <clears throat> or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Return to my room. Got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Stash of the special stuff at the farm. I got three jugs hidden in a bush. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Moonbeams. It's like the governor of California there. Jerry Brown. Governor Moonbeam. All right, how do I get back to my room? Let's see if we can find anything else. Oh, we can't talk to this fine, fine woman. I'm What's up, buddy? Dream and you can't wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagining. All right, buddy. Okay, open up. Why isn't this door opening up? Isn't that the way I get back to my room? Hey, wake. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. Okay. You can get to your room by those stairs, wake. 
All right, we'll give the writing a shot, boss. Uh oh. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow. Another TV show. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days. <laughs> Hello. Dark outside. My God, he looks like uh, that porn star. Holy shit! It's not human. James Dean, doesn't he? Oh my lord! There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get. It's the pretty story cool. And the story will come true. Return to me. Hermes. Guys doing Jack Nicholson impersonations down there. Brony pony. Hello, Brony. All right. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Hartman okay. wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. I'll give it a try, J.D. Salinger. Come on, where do I go? I thought the rooms were all up here. Uh, okay, there's the brony room. Night springs. This one isn't my room. Well, look at that. What a nice touch. <laughs> An Xbox with a Night Springs video game. I don't know. Would it have been cooler if it was an Alan Wake video game? <laughs> I think this is the first game I've ever seen that happen. Uh, I don't know. All right, so I'm supposed to go up here and find my room, and I can't find my fucking room. This damn compass isn't helping. So we got... All right, this is the room we just went in. Is this my fucking room? Yes. Jeez. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. It hurt me fucking eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Everybody calm down. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool. Okay. Do what you do, motherfucker. <laughs> I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Oh man, chaos is just part of the game, man. Gotta de-escalate these these clients here. Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? Wait, whoa, pick up man, where is it? Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. Ah. On and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice and cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the whole orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry. You can call me Al. Call me, Al. It's my store. I'm taking it. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. The if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. Oh, Jesus. From Sinclair. Yeah, there's a nice key ring there. 
I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Look at these dudes. Come on, rock on, brothers! Adult diapered ass. Alright, where's this guy's office? Let's fucking find his office here. Get our get our shit. The Marvel tapes said they were recordings now, Hartman Mrs. had Wayne, made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't believe it. The party is he's so angry all the time. He's angry. Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just... Ellen doesn't really sleep. And the work? Well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I will <sighs> I look at you, and it's not you. You don't ever say this. No, no. I've tried, but Adam's a tweaker. He's too deep in his own problems, always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even talking anymore. So he's isolating himself more, so that will be you know lead lead to him ruminating more. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, that picture. I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. Some pretty funky pictures here in here. All right, another page. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it and knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Okay. Can't make out any of the books here. Look at this. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Yeah. Hartman had been playing me all along. Hmm. <laughs> Paranoia, paranoia, everybody's coming to get me. Barry? Look at this. Barry. Man, I'm glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. Sudden sting. Or the sudden stop. Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Oh, speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got well, here... there goes my theory that... Me and stuck me in there. ...that the agent what's, helped what's to put him in. in. Or convinced Alan to go in. Since it's voluntary. What she did to us? That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. 
All right, so uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't get it because it said that this is voluntary, so it's not like he has to break out of here. Let's see what's up here. Here's his pages. All the pages I had on me, and more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. We can twerk it out. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wow. Well, now he's Listen digging himself in. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and my Shit. Can't you see it now, Doctor? Fuck. So long, Hartman. Wait a minute. Hartman watches Wake Hartman fall. Hartman the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking. Something the Anderson... We can twerk it out. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally... All right. The dark presence will be on me in a moment. Well, this is a fucking nightmare. Escape the clinic. I don't have a flashlight. Okay, now I see why I'm supposed to flashlight those out. All right, but wait a minute. I want to see what. Oh, I can't. Hurry up! Man. Fuck, I don't I don't have anything. Oh I got a gun. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Yeah, where's the flashlight, dudes? Oh, I'm gonna die. Fuck. Oh, Oh, man. Oh, boy. All right. Well, once I get out of this fucking clinic... The dark presence would be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Oh, shit. Steve... Fuck, can't go there. All right, shit. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of the way. All right, well, there's, there's light there. Come on, man. Aren't I supposed to be protected? Even if it's a lamp? Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Hmm. All right, so that shuts down. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my Okay, way. up the stairs. 
Oh, here we go. Cool. Oh, wow. Look at all this poltergeist activity. Fuck. Okay, and start it again. I gotta make it out in a in a time window here. Alright, there it is. Okay, I see. Alright, let's do this. Come on, make it! Alright, good. Ah! Oh! Checkpoint reach, though. Ah! Fuck! What do I do? Alright, what, what the. <laughs> what do I do? Oh. Come on, come on. Get out of this view, please. Okay. Oh, fuck. Those bear carvings. Shit. Okay, how the fuck do I get out of here? Uh, Alright, thank you. Another manuscript page. Here we go, Big Bear! He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far. Sounds like he's projecting onto Hartman, you know? Producer, you know, mad at his agents and stuff? I don't know. Just a thought. Shit. Fuck, where's the door? Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on. Here? I go through here? Okay, that doesn't really help. Fuck, what do I do? Can't get in here. Yeah, come on, man. Smash me through. Smash it through. Ah. Thank you. Come on, Barry. Oh, I thought that was a page. Meet Barry. Okay, hold on. One second, Barry. <laughs> Just want to make sure I'm not missing any pages. Alright, I guess not. Barry! I'm so happy to see you. Alright, I'm gonna pause here. Let Marlboro 